Hi, I'm Jonathan J. Reinhardt from Wargaming Recon. Today we're looking at the Picorni paints and brushes from Dwarven Forge. So let's unbox and dig in and see what we have. This is how they'll come if you buy them from Dwarven Forge, and especially if this is all you buy from Dwarven Forge. So this package here you can see is all wrapped up. Those are paints. We'll get to those in a moment. These are the Picorni brushes. They cost ten dollars for a set of three of them you get a fine detail brush you get a dry brush and you get a standard painting brush so let's just open these up and see what we have and what they look like and first up as we go right here you can see that we have a wonderful detail brush it's a number one brush nice handle it's made with natural fibers for the bristles we also have a number three brush for painting larger areas or doing accent stones and things and we have a number 12 dry brush it's one of the best dry brushes i've ever used look at that point on it it's nicely protected and available for you to use them now you will want to use these when you paint with Picorni paints and as you can see here these are all other paints that you can use to paint your Dwarven Forge pieces but a benefit of Picorni paints is that you can go ahead and you don't have to worry about under priming or coating. So we are opening up, I'm opening up rather, the package here. It's all nicely padded up and again as you can see when I'm holding that box cutter if you're a youngin get a grown up to do it and if you're a grown up be careful, don't cut yourself. So just unwinding this bubble wrap, very well protected paints here. It just goes on and on and on. Look at all this, it's fantastic. All this for three paints that we're gonna cover and talk about right here because for a classic dungeon, look, you only need three paints. You need the Picorni Paints Earth Stone paint right here. It comes in four fluid ounces. It's a nice dripper bottle. It's 118 milliliters made in the United States. See here, it's a huge bottle, perfectly sized for painting tons of your terrain right here. And on the back, it gives you some directions about shaking, just stirring it before you use it. And then you wanna clean stuff with soap and water and that it's made for Dwarven Forge. It's able to be purchased from dwarvenforge.com. And this is just, it's a nice sizable bottle. The next one is the Caverns uh, dry brush right here. It's also a four fluid ounce bottle, 118 mils, made in the USA. These are high flow acrylics. You don't need to dilute them when you paint with them. It's another great dropper bottle. Same instructions on it. It's just really well done. And you can use different brushes for these. So for the cavern dry brush, you want to use a nice dry brush for applying it. And for the earthstone, you would just go ahead and use that smaller brush that I showed you. Now, when you do a dry brush, though, on your caverns, um, not your caverns, on your dungeon pieces, you're going to want to use this other paint, School Bus. On their website, it looks a little orangey, but it's not as orangey as you would think. So you actually will end up taking both the School Bus and the cavern dry brush paints. So you're going to take them together, and what you want to do is you want to apply three units of measurements of your cavern dry brush after you shake it and then you want to apply one unit of measurement of school bus keep that ratio three to one mix it use the bottom of your brush right there to get it together and you can go ahead and start painting your pieces and dry brushing them you'll be really happy you can buy all of these from dwarvenforge.com want to thank them for their support and remind you that the next video in our series here will actually show me painting Dwarven Forge classic dungeon pieces. So be sure to watch that. Thanks for watching and keep on gaming.